it's Princess After Games .com here, and we went to a really interesting event at the YouTube space last night. Um, so I wanted to talk about it a little bit with you guys. Uh, it was about social change, which obviously I've been very interested in. Um, I think society needs to change, so I've been doing my best to contribute to the change of society for the better. Um, and it was actually ran, run by the people from the Free Hugs Project, which is a really fantastic project. There'll be a link in the description where you can check them out. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, they go to protests and marches all over the country and give free hugs to people. And they can be from either, from any viewpoint, really. They just want to keep peace from all the sides and sort of remind us all that we are human and no one is really lesser than you because of what they think. And it really made me think about how YouTubers and other people who have a platform use it for change. And they don't necessarily have to be big. Even if you're just reaching one person out there, you can use it to change the world in a way. And it doesn't have to be necessarily something I really want to stress, is it doesn't have to be on a huge scale. You don't have to have a gigantic YouTube channel or anything to change just one person because everything you really do, any nice gesture towards someone, um, will have a ripple effect because if you're nice to someone then they'll think that they want to be nice to the next person they see as well and it'll just create a ripple effect and every little thing you can do can change the world in some way. It really did get, keep me thinking about especially too how we can keep it civil even though we have disagreements and with our uh, Preston's Perspective videos obviously we talk about a lot of pretty controversial topics and there's a lot of disagreements to have there and if someone is civil with their disagreement we could just have a conversation about it in the comments and it's actually really nice and if you're not hateful about it or anything then it's actually a really interesting conversation to have with others about why they disagree with what we think and it can change both of our opinions for the better. But yeah, it really is important that you allow civil disagreement and you don't go attacking someone simply for what they think. They're not necessarily lesser than you because of an opinion they have. And having a civil disagreement can change someone's mind as well. Um, so if you're talking to someone who has views that aren't very similar to yours, that you could think could possibly even hurt someone, it's entirely possible to have a conversation with them and change their views. And um, Ken from the Free Hugs Project and, um, actually told a really interesting story about it, where uh, I'm not going to tell a super long story because it's not really my story to tell, but he convinced so he sort of had a conversation with someone from the Westboro Baptist Church and they ended up packing up where they were and leaving because he had made gotten the point across that he is uh, a human just like them. It was very, very interesting and very powerful, the story that he had, and that if you just have a civil conversation about anything, then the world becomes a better place. But our society has gotten into a very bad culture, which I call call-out culture, where if someone doesn't agree with you on one certain topic, then they're cancelled forever, and you hate them, and it just becomes a cycle of attacking, instead of having a civil conversation with someone about why their opinion might hurt someone, and then they could change their mind if they don't know, because a lot of people that are affected by this kind of stuff aren't are like children who are very innocent and are just sort of believing what they're told and forming together an opinion and every new piece of information is going to change their mind and if they figure out that where they where they stand on an issue is going to start hurting people and they didn't know that then they might change their mind and it all just comes from civil conversations and civil disagreements which actually aren't as commonplace in society as they should one of the things that we like to say is that people are afraid of others that are different from them and people with power are afraid of losing that power. And if you think about things in society in that terms, it starts to make a lot of sense. And what I like to think of as my job as an LGBT YouTuber is to sort of prove that we as the queer community aren't as different as people might think we are. And with pe when people talk to me and watch my videos and then learn that I am in fact queer, then they are sort of learning that we're not different. We're just, we're all human and 
we're all just the same. We're more alike than we really are different. And I'm not saying that everyone is exactly the same because that is not the case. We are all very unique and different, but we still have more traits that are alike than different. And if we all just really understood that, then the world would be so much of a better place. So I am trying my best to show people that as a representative of the queer community that we're not different, we're all human. We can be wrong about things still and we can be right about other things. We're not angry or hateful or wrong or any of that stuff. And the sort of purpose of this video is that I want to tell you guys to please try and change the world and try and prove that we're not all that different in your life. You don't have to be big on a social media platform or anything. You don't even have to have a social media platform account. Just do it in your day-to-day -day life. Be kind to someone. Have a civil conversation with someone that you disagree with instead of automatically assuming that they're the worst and they're evil. And just try and be kind and try and be a better person while you're out there. And life is just too short to be mean and angry. And I understand that you will regret being mean to someone more than you'll regret being nice to someone. I think that's it for today. Yeah, this got kind of deep, but oh well. I just really thought it was important to talk about. And yeah, um, by the way, make sure to let me know in the comments below as well if you do an act of kindness like this, I would love to hear about it. As well as if you like this kind of video because I really like just having a heart to heart with you guys and talking and I want to know if you guys like it as much as I do. So yeah, make sure to press the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!